at you? Okay, okay. She was skinny, filthy, and of course really hissy because she had never been socialized with people before. Well, I knew that was a challenge, but I'd done it before, so I could do it again. I think you're gonna like it here. Who do you think? She, of course, wanted nothing to do with me. The first step is to keep her in a small contained area so she feels very cozy and secure. We've got some nice spa music for you. Got some food. The first day, I don't handle them at all. I let them decompress, and then we start work the next day. This girl's about as grumpy as they come. She just buries her face in the blanket. Ooh, look at that face. Don't you worry, little sassy pants. If I went to pick her up, she'd probably hide. I usually put a small blanket over her. The next thing we do is I try to get her used to my voice. Look at little raggedy. You're so cute. She lets me touch her head. She's gonna get me. And little by little, the more I would pick her up, the better she got at it. Is that purring? Purring? Can we hear it? Oh, she looks messy. Okay, so this is either going to be the bravest thing I've ever done or the dumbest thing I've ever done. In general, cats don't need baths, but she came to me extremely filthy and matted. So I knew once she calmed down, I could give her a bath. But she doesn't like me still. Okay, here we go. Oh dear. Switch sides here. So this water is so brown. Your face. <laughs> After the bath, we started brushing, and I found out that she really enjoyed brushing, and she got closer to me. Look at her! Look at her! She's getting, she's getting closer to me. Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Yeah! Look at this! Look at this! It was then that I knew, okay, I was going to be able to make some progress with her. I could use brushing as a tool to help her warm up to people. I would use the brush and then I would sneak in using my hand to pet her. I like the chin scratches too. Come on, we're past this. You gotta eat your food with me here. You want to eat it. I could gently push her out of her comfort zone with food. If she was going to eat her favorite food, she was going to eat it with me around. Good girl. You let me pet you? You let me pet you? Oh, did I scare you? I'm sorry. At first, she did not like toys at all. She was just like, lady, get out of my face with that toy, seriously. And eventually, she warmed up to toys to where she really enjoyed having toys and playing with toys. The biggest moment I noticed was when she came up into our bed for the first time on her own. Finally, after weeks and weeks of talking to her, I knew that we had really made progress then. get a kiss oh I feel so special I think it's crazy that of the hundreds of fosters I've had she's like the top two kittens that I've had the most adoption applications on I ended up ultimately selecting a family who has adopted from me before 
though I know a lot of foster parents get sad on adoption day, and I do too, but I'm really happy about tomorrow. I'm really proud of her and I'm proud of the progress she's made. I just can't wait to see her continue to blossom in her new home. I promise to take care of you, baby. Oh my God, I was not ready for you to be this little. <laughs>